This is the third part of the network sniffer tutorial and we have stopped building our get time of service function and we have written all the dictionaries with all the information that we need but right now we need to extract somehow these bits for delay, throughput, reliability and cost. So actually we will apply this trick. Let's create a variable that will hold the delay bit. Let's call it D. We'll take our data and end it with something. So as we can see here, we have like some bits, the first three bits, and then we have like, let's consider this T and then the other four. So we would like to end it with uh, this kind of bits that will have zero except for this one. So let's assume that we have here like also one one and we will end it with um, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 zero. So in hexadecimal, this is 10. So let's write it. We'll have uh, zero X 10. And actually this is not, uh, not all that we can do because we need to shift it and as you can see we need to shift it four times to the right so what we'll do right now is use a shorthand like shift and four times that looks pretty good we'll apply the same trick for the other bits let's call the throughput t and we will get the data and end it with the Eight, and then we'll shift it three times for the reliability we'll have t variable and we'll end it with uh, four and then shift it two times the last one the cost the monetary cost let's call it m we take again the data end it with 0x2 and we'll shift it just once. The last bit um, is a free one. It, it isn't set. It's set to 0 I think by default and we shouldn't care about it. So let's build our time of service. What will it look like? So we would like to concatenate all this parts of the strings. So first of all we'll take the precedence and shift the data five times to the right. And then we want to have like some tabs and in order not to print all the time the tabs and the new lines, let's create a variable that will hold. Let's make it uh, a new line, a tab, a tab and three tabs. So let's concatenate it with the tabs and then with the have delay and our bit D plus again tabs plus mm, through put with the, our bit T tabs plus uh, what's the next one? Reliability. Let's see what is set to the R bit again tabs and the cost and return this value so here what we should do first of all we need to get like this uh, time of service and it is in the second element of our tuple and let's um, and we won't be calling the function right here because then we will um, write that all this information in a single place like that we have catched an IP packet and we have this information and that information let's see what's next so we have this ID identification and as we can see it's 16 bytes long and 
you can actually extract it just like that because it's pretty simple. Let's type ID and unpacked data, the third element. But we have forgotten about the total length. Okay, so um, this is not the right thing to do right now. It's actually it will be the fourth element. So let's type it right here. But for the total length, let's also extract it. F total length um, equals to unpack data and the second element. Um, After that, we have already the total length, we have the identification, and we have like the 16 bits that indicate the flags and the fragment offset. But we won't start right now um, extracting the flags because we will do it in the next part of the tutorial.